from today's class. Okay, let's do it. So, uh, in the previous class, I'm uh, showing all of you the inheritance. So, just a little bit reminder from today. So, what is inheritance? Inheritance means inheritance is a property that in today's life we will use just like uh, ek larka ek uske papa ki tarah dekhne ho, iske ek larka uske mummy ki tarah dekh rahe ho. So, just like that, hum log ye baate har vak sun rahe hain. तो क्या होता है एक्चुअली इनहेरिटेंस का क्या मतलब है कि जो हमारे माता पिता के अंदर जो खूबियां हैं जो क्वालिटी है अगर वो बच्चों के अंदर आ जाए जो तो उन उन, उन खूबियों को ही इनहेरिटेंस बोल रहे हैं कि जो मेथड है पापा और मम्मी के तरफ से जो बच्चों के अंदर आ रहा है तो उसी को ही बोल बोलता है कि इनहेरिटेंस दैट्स वाई it is in our daily life uh, example but in the uh, coding in the uh, computer science it also there the topic inheritance uh, what is it will be actually uh, it is the special uh, contents or it will be the description of starting oops concept okay so python is also a object oriented programming language why because Whenever we further create a class, whenever we further go on for the many more operation and something else, it will work through the object creation. Whenever we create a class, we must create an object to invoke the operation or the methods in between the class and the whatever we have done to get our output. So that is the main uh, topic, main gist of inheritance. Actually, what is the inheritance? So, um, previously, I am uh, writing you the definition, actually. Those who are new and those who are not able to write down in the previous class, please write again. Inheritance means inheriting the property. That means inheriting the property. from one class to another class. Okay, this is the simple definition of inheritance. Inheriting the property from one class to another class is called inheritance. What is what are the properties? In today's life, I just say the quality, uh, the nurture, the, all the quality, all the uh, human nature, just like from my mother and father ends, then it goes upon to us children, and from my father and mother comes from where they are father and mother okay so that is the inheriting that's called inheriting the property in generation to generation so in the programming language it must be inheriting the property from one class to another class from which class it's inheriting the property it is called the parent class just like Three classes, okay. So block structure. This is called grandparent class. Okay. This is called parent class, and this is called child class. So from grandparent class to parent class, it inheriting the property, and from parent class to child class, the property we inherit. So that is the main structure of how the class to class property inheritance and obviously it's not the actual today life property in the programming in python language it will be some messages some information some methods 
some uh, operations that will help us to get the output for our further operation. So that's the property. It belongs to the inheritance in Python. Okay. So I think uh, everybody note down it. Okay. I think everybody note down it. Shall I remove? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So what are the inheritance? Uh, the types of inheritance, the five main types of inheritance. Please tell me anyone. Single level inheritance, multi level inheritance, multiple inheritance. Okay, so that's one first is single level inheritance. The second one is multi level, and the third one is multiple inheritance, and it ends and anymore. Hierarchical inheritance. Yes. yes. Hybrid inheritance. Hybrid inheritance. That's the hierarchical inheritance. And number five is hybrid inheritance. Hybrid. So that's the five basic, five mostly used inheritance property in Python language. That's the types of inheritance. You please note down single level inheritance, multi level inheritance. Multiple inheritance, hierarchical inheritance, and hybrid inheritance. So, at previous class, I will I should uh, discuss. I think yes, I completed the single level inheritance and multi level inheritance. So, just uh, give all of you ten minutes. Just taking ten minutes to simple reminder. What is a single level inheritance? In a single level inheritance, the property that should inheriting in a subclass from only one superclass from only one superclass this is the superclass and it is the child class okay inheriting the property from only one superclass to child class is called single level inheritance uh, should I need to explain by example? Those who are yes, new, sir. those who are new, please tell me because I am previously shown no, the example. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, just wait. I'm um, okay. So wait. So first of all. I should create a class. Then define a function let tab let bike. Then a is equal to 2000 b is equal to 7000 then a plus b then in create class the plus Then it will be step start cell, and it will be print let start. Okay, then just end. Then at first, I am creating an object just like S1 is equal to subclass done S1 dot R. Then just run it. It will see. 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम क्रिएटिंग ए क्लास क्लास नेम इज सुपर क्लास ओके देन इन द क्लास आई जस्ट कॉल्ड ए मेथोडरी फंक्शन जस्ट नेम बाइक ओके इन दैट फंक्शन आई जस्ट इनपुट ए वेरिएबल ए इज इक्वल टू टू थाउजेंड बी इज इक्वल टू सेवन थाउजेंड एंड प्रिंट ए प्लस बी डन एगेन आई एम क्रिएटिंग ए सब क्लास what subclass this subclass is the child class of super class okay see for inheriting the property in the parenthesis i am write down the parent class name okay then in between the subclass i am creating another function def car self print just printing a message he has bought a new car okay so just just forgot about this portion okay just taking this this is a class and there is a function your you can say method name there is i am creating a object of that class class name is subclass so let's taking the object s1 and creating the object of subclass of a class that name is subclass okay then we just want to print what is in that particular class s1 dot the function name then it will show us he has bought a new car okay so this is a separate class we create an object and then print what is in that class particularly now what will be the inheriting what will be the inheriting so that's come s1 dot bike and see it will show us the output how it will do actually we are creating an object for the particular this class and again we show what are this class but we also mentioned here this class is the subclass of this or you can say child class of this particular parent class by name by passing the name okay so it will inherit the property we just need not to create another object for that particular class okay just to create this object and then by summoning the function name function call and what are inside that particular class it will show us the output here only one class to another class property inheritance no other step no other class so it is called single label inheritance understand those who are new yes. understand yes sir okay everybody got it yes sir yes sir yes sir okay so this is the single label inheritance now what's next now that is the multi level inheritance so what are the definition of multi level inheritance uh who is the new one okay gayatri please tell me what are the meanings of multi level inheritance just uh portray just calling the name multi level inheritance what you can say gayatri please unmute yourself and give the answer It uh, it will be the grandparent and uh, they sorry. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Tell me. There is one base class, and uh, from the one base class, we can uh, create many uh, derived class, more than one derived class. Okay. So there is a small mistake. That is, uh, see, listen. so multi level inheritance means wait. 
that is a child class and that is a parent class okay p class and child class child class is inheriting the property from parent class okay but in the multi level inheritance parent class is also inheriting the property from grand parent class but here the level steps is multiple so it is called multi level more than one step level okay not uh, inheriting the property from grandparent class to many more child class that's not that's a different um, definition okay that's a different class but in the multi level inheritance child class is inheriting the property from parent class in terms of that particular parent class is also inheriting the property from another class that is that we can say grand parent class okay and here the steps are multiple that means more than one step so it is called multi level inheritance multi level inheritance so what will be the definition of multi level inheritance write down who are not copying not note down previous class a subclass a subclass is inheriting the property a subclass is inheriting the property from from its parent class in terms of in terms of that parent class is also inheriting the property that parent class is also inheriting the property from another super class okay is called multi level inheritance write down the definition everyone who are not note down in the previous class please write down the definition okay because in the interview they just called you a short description a short brief see understand please tell me what is a multi level inheritance so they just ask me so you please uh, tell me tell them that particular definition it is a short type a super class or a sub sorry a sub class is inheriting the property from its parent class in terms of that parent class is also inheriting the property from another super class is called multi level inheritance okay so i am removing it and now what will be the multi level inheritance example wait first of all again i should create a class let's talk about okay what will be let's talk about home okay so there i create a class that name is home okay then dev r 1 for room 1 एक मिनट यस क्लास होम देन डेफ फंक्शन नेम आर वन एंड देन सेल्फ इन दैट आई जस्ट प्रिंट 
this is our bedroom okay now creating another class called um let's take bike and in between class name home dev dev what will be name dev black let's a color name okay then fill let's self print i love black colored bike okay then again creating a class called Mm. Let's take race bike name Okay, so first of all, I'm creating a class name home, then creating a function room self, then print this is our bedroom. Okay, then again creating a class name bike, and in between when call the class name, we just print the parent that's parent class name that is home for inheriting the property of this. Then it will called I love black colored bike. Okay. Then again, creating a class dress, and for this time, I am summoning the name for this class's parent name that is bike in between bike in the parenthesis. Then creating a function and name print blue is my favorite dress color. Okay, now we just now tell me for which class I need to create an object. That's when I go to home. Yes, ma'am. Which class? Home. Dress, sir. Yes, dress, not home. Not home. Home no. is the home. Home is the grandparent class. Okay. Right. Bike is the right parent S... class. No, no. We have to write now. S one equals to home. Then S one dot. Uh, then bike. Oh, dress. Sorry. Why? We can bike. Why? For that. For that reason. By dress will be the uh, grandparent class, but here okay. what I am what I am doing, home. See when mm -hmm. I am creating first class, then not giving any type of parenthesis. That is okay. the simple grandparent class. Okay, home mm -hmm. is the grandparent class. Then bike is the parent class. Then dress is the child class of bike okay. and uh, grandchild of home. Okay. So yes, this is the main class main creation. Class. Now we should create everybody listen. We should create object of dress class. D1 let's object is equal to dress. Done. And then D1 dot blue. Done. Run it. Blue is my favorite color, favorite dress color. So what would it will be? It is a let's break in three 
three part let's break in three part so that is the third part that is the second part that is sorry that is the third part and that is the second part and that is the first part so in the first part we just create an class dress okay then uh, they are called the function blue and then just something print then create this class object d1 is equal to dress then again for what are in the uh, what printed in the class dress to show we just d1 dot object dot function name that is blue done and it shows us the result from this understand everybody what an object do yes sir done now we just create previous a class called bike okay then in the bike class create a function black print something okay but here we don't create an object okay in this portion see in this portion for the by that class we don't create any type of obje object so one can say sir is there any possible to create an object then print it yes it's possible but why we should do because it's the inheritance property we already cre uh, create an object in the class dress that is d1 so this bike class is the parent class of dress so dress must be inheriting the property of bike class the object is d1 so we should d1 dot function name black and just run it so it should give us the output of bike class see d1 dot black run see i love black colored bike that is the second point we don't create another object for this class but just inheriting the property as bike class is the parent class of child class dress we create already an object in dress class it inheriting the property from its class that is the bike class okay understand till now yes sir no confusion yes, no confusion okay so next the third part so again in that main first creation class home class we already create a class called home and then a function called room then already there we print something pass the messages but not any object creation is also there why we should do because it inherit from it inherit the property to bike class bike class is the child class of home and also bike class has no object why bike class is also from bike class is also inheriting the property to the dress class because dress class is the uh, child class of bike class and in the dress class we just create object so from the, the object of class dress inheriting from the uh, from the class called bike as bike class is the parent class of dress so again the class home is also give the output as it will be the parent class of the child class bike so just to simple 
d1 dot room d1 dot room now run it will show us the result previously we don't create any object just we create the last child class object and just simply inheriting the property simply inheriting the property this is called multi level inheritance understand everybody yes sir okay so please write down the example and give it 2 minutes all okay just write down this sir hello sir Hello, sir. Yes, tell me. Uh, sir, I have a question. What yes. happened if, if there are two same parent class with same name? Same name, same parent class? Yes, sir. Okay, let's check. So, okay, so you here change home also, right? Room. Room, sir. Room is not a class. Room is the method function the method no, name. Home, sir. Home, sir. Sorry, home. This this bike to home, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. All thing I let's check step by step. Okay. See? Oh, this is also called home. Okay. Let's check. Don't give any output. Sir, no, sir you're not printing the output. We, we did not call any function. Yes. Oh, sorry. Okay. D1 yes, sir, yes, call the function dot blue. Okay. Okay, that's happened. So now D1 dot black. Okay. See and then D1 dot room. It shows the result. It's coming. I think it will be uh, other than changing the class name, it will be the same function name. That will be their problem, I think. Okay. So, sir, uh, there is a method like multiple inheritance. 
And that, I think I, in that inheritance, it shows in override property, I think, override and over. No, I am I am telling like now the override multiple the inheritance. I am telling that multiple inheritance. Yes, sir, I know, but yes, I am just telling, telling sir, I know. Okay, okay, okay. No issue. Because in the multiple inheritance, there are two parent class and the what is the child class it inheriting the property from both two parent class. Yes, sir. Okay. If two parent class are same name, then inheriting the property of first parent class or both sir both but in, it, in the problem both. Yeah, yes both 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 uh, property from multiple inheritance but the problem is where when the function name it will be same i think that will be the problem here yeah. just just check uh, it will be the home one will be also home one and it will home okay and it will be room and just click it also room okay let's check it yes that is the problem because when the function name is same i think then the problem start okay so this is multi -like. yes So now from today new multiple inheritance. So what is the meaning of multiple inheritance? When the two parents class is inherited by a single child class, then it is called yes. multiple inheritance. Absolutely right. Then this is called a parent class. And this is another parent class. And this is a child class. So this child class is inheriting the property from both parent class. Okay. That means multiple super class. That means multiple super class. Okay. It is called the multiple inheritance. Please write down the definition. A subclass is inheriting the property A subclass is inheriting the property from multiple super class. You can say it super class or parent class as your wish or parent class is called multiple inheritance a subclass is inheriting the property from multiple superclass or parent class is called multiple inheritance okay Yes, sir. Okay. Please write down everybody the definition. Just wait one or two minutes. Write down and the structure is also in editing. Everybody done? Yes, sir. Okay. 
So, okay, I am removing it. So, what is the example? Let's now, let's give the example in Fung's mathematical operation. Okay, who is there? Alka, Anjali, Ion, Kaitri, Jagruti. Okay, let's Ion. Start with Ion. And then, Def. Hmm. Edison. X is equal to ten. Y is equal to twenty three. Now we can creating class. Is let's Anjali. Dave. A is equal to U2 is equal to 25. What will be the function? So let's try. Okay, so here at first I am creating a class named Ion. Then in that class, I am creating a function addition. Then in that function, x is equal to 10, y is equal to 23, print a plus b. Again, we are creating a parent class or a class, Anjali and them, def multiplication function, then a is equal to 80, b is equal to 25, print a star b. Then again, we are creating a class Jagruti, but I should but 
we should take the inheriting property from Oyon and Anjali, from Oyon and Anjali to Jagruti. Okay. Jagruti inheritance the property from both Oyon class and Anjali class. Okay. And they are also P is equal to 34, Q is equal to 24, print P minus Q. Now, this is the first step, second step, third step. First, which object creating? Which object it creating Jagruti. here? Jagruti. Yes. That is J1 taking J1. You can take any name. J1 is equal to Jagruti object creation done. Then J1 dot subtraction done run it it will show us the output number one step done so what is the property of multiple inheritance the single child class is always inheriting the property from multiple parent class number one done now same object dot multiplication okay now check shows us the result so here already j1 is creating created the object of jagruti class and this jagruti class is also inheriting the property from anjali class see there so it will shows us just by calling invoking the function name it will show us the output so step two also done now step three j1 dot addition run it will show us Okay, what happened? Name A is not defined. That is A. In, oh, sorry. Okay. Now run. It will show us the output. So here also, we creating the class Jagruti and also it inheriting the property from the class Oyon. Okay. So it also shows us the result just invoking the function name addition j1 dot addition. It will shows us the result. So step three also done. So what are the steps? First, creating a class, parent class then also again creating the separate class then also creating a subclass that will inheriting the property from the previous two class okay here i use comma you can also separate it okay just jagruti and oyon then again class but no need to again two times doing just calling one class and then inheriting the property okay so here you can use comma that Jagruti class is inheriting the property from previous two class Oyon and Anjali and after creating the object for the Jagruti class it will show us the result for all okay so this is the example of multiple inheritance using two parent class same as If we create again another class, class, it's with their Nares. Okay. Class Nares, then Dave Division 
cell then m is equal to 40 n is equal to 8 print m divided by n okay now just here subtraction multiplication j1 dot nourish here putting nourish okay run chakruti object has so it will division na oh, okay, j1 okay. dot nourish sorry sir So this will show us the result also. You can inherit any number of parent class from a sing uh, to a single child class. That particular child class is also inheriting the property from one, from that, from that, any number of parent class. So this is called the multi-level inheritance. Write down the example and then we move for hierarchical inheritance. मैं जो दिखा रहा हूं सबको समझ में आ रहा है ना कोई दिक्कत तो नहीं ना यस सर हां सर अगर कोई प्रॉब्लम होता है तो प्लीज यू कैन शेयर विद मी ओके सो नो इशू प्लीज हेजिटेट हेजिटेट यू कैन शेयर विद मी सो प्लीज फॉलो एंड व्हेनेवर देयर इज एनी कंफ्यूजन एनी मिस्टेक एनी डाउट वी विल सॉल्व इट टुगेदर आल्सो after computing uh, python try to solve a small project also okay so yahan uh, par kon kon log sql ka class kar rahe ho tum log sabhi log kar rahe ho sandeep sir yes sir okay, sa sandeep tum tumhare se bhi sab kuch koi kar raha hai sir koi i don't know sir uh, please uh, everybody respond mm -hmm. please sql class karo kyunki sql uh, का भी बहुत जरूरत है तो मतलब जो डेटा एनालिस्ट है जो फील्ड है पहले पाइथन और एसक्यूएल जो पिलर है डेटा एनालिस्ट का इसके बाद तुम्हारा आता है विजुलाइजेशन टूल दैट इज द न्यू एज दैट इज द टैब डब्ल्यू और आल्सो वी कैन पावर बीआई आई एम आई विल शो आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग एसक्यूएल व्हेनेवर एसक्यूएल इज कंप्लीट बाय अमदुल सर एंड माय पाइथन इज कंप्लीटेड देन आई विल गो फॉर द पावर बीआई स्मॉल डिस्क्रिप्शन हाउ इट इज वर्क्स एंड What type of it is? यहाँ पर कोई है जो पावर बी आई के बारे में थोड़ा बहुत कुछ जानता है क्या जानती हो कोई भी है no, okay. 
एक्चुअली देखो कंपनी में अगर कोई एमएनसी कंपनी में तुम लोग काम करते हो या कोई किसी जगह पर भी तुम काम करते हो डेटा एनालिस्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डेटा साइंटिस्ट इज नॉट फॉर प्रेशर ओके मैं भी खुद एक प्रेशर प्रेशर नहीं मतलब जो भी हूँ ओके ओके गायत्री ओके सॉरी सो एक्चुअली डेटा एनालिस्ट एंड डेटा साइंटिस्ट दीज आर दू फील्ड इन न्यू एज ओके and that is also uh one connected in india last last not more than 10 years but in the education system in the uh, what in the system that will be connected in any projects in any research work it will be uh, entered in last more than 4 to 5 years so data analyst and data scientist not also uh, bounded in it sector okay first of all you please remind that in between your uh, investigation bureau that is cbi you please uh, check ongc that is petrochemical you please uh, see it in the i can say in the research work in the that's isro nasa and in the any other research work physics lab any other pharmacy lab all they are need to be the data data is the power of in today's age so first of all we all know or from uh, compatible with uh, the data analyst first because no one uh, should give the opportunity of data science in today's life at first it is the very much you should understand in which domain you are a brief knowledge is brief description of your domain at first you gain the data analyst then whenever the persons are getting the 5 to 7 years of experience they will go for data scientist okay those who are work in the data scientist field now in any company or any domain that will be ongc petroleum hp ib sector so that is their experience of minimum 4 to 6 years or 5 to 7 years experience at first we just move on the data analyst to so what are the data analyst we need to know the knowledge and know the basic things the pillar of the data analyst is the python a coding language then it will be connected to the database that is the sql why sql not other uh, because it will be anything it will be sql or oracle or mysql postgresql that is the same thing but the syntax in different time different things so uh, there we also know the database to connected Uh, the coding from the collecting the data from where we collecting the data that is the main topic after that we should move on the visualization whenever the company client will come you they just give you a minimum 5 to 7 minutes please present me the whole data whole the thing that in the next year cycle what in what or where we should invest our money to grow the company so in between 5 to 7 uh, minute you need not to present all your document all your coding all your anything else in just limited time no one can uh, do that in 5 to 7 minutes you do all the 70 pages 80 pages 100 pages data or the long coding there they just want to report so that is the use of the power tools or you can say the visualization tools it will be in the excel also it will be the power another power app also it will be the tableau also it will be the python in python there should be the numpy uh, using numpy pandas my matplotlib cborn there is the visualization tool and the fourth one is the advanced excel that is the main topic that is i should uh, it should be teaches in every school from the basics in every colleges because in today generation Uh, many of us thinking that we know all about excel just using microsoft word powerpoint excel just randomly some creating columns rows and inputting them names and their classes but not that at once excel there are also the lookup function we look up i look up x look up and then we just creating the presentation so that's the main thing dashboard making is the new generation trend when client come to you they just ask you for the how much i have spent to that particular field or how much i have spent where when which field that in the next year cycle i will get uh, growth in my company that is the main topic that is the main thing that every client every mnc companies need to do 
so it's there so the dashboard making the visualization tool will help in that way understand clear what is the domain of data analysis and why in today's life it will be uh, very much importance okay yes, so, okay so now um, uh, move on to the hierarchical uh, yes hierarchical inheritance okay Please check the spelling. Actually, it is a tough spelling. Hierarchical inheritance. So, what is the meaning of hierarchical inheritance? Can anyone explain? What is the meaning yes, of hierarchical? Yes, please tell me. When a single parent class is inherited by multiple child class. Yes, that is the main gist of hierarchical inheritance. Well done. So, what is the in hierarchical inheritance when a parent class is inheriting the from that parent class inheriting the property to multiple subclasses or you can say multiple child classes that is the called hierarchical inheritance c1 class c2 class c3 class C4 class, this is the structure of hierarchical inheritance. So, what will be the definition of hierarchical inheritance? Let's write down the definition. When multiple inheritance is inheriting when multiple inheritance sorry when multiple subclass when multiple subclasses are inheriting the property from single parent class is called is called hierarchical inheritance when multiple subclasses inheriting the property from single parent class is called hierarchical inheritance okay hierarchical inheritance write down the definition when multiple subclasses are inheriting the property from single parent class is called the hierarchical inheritance. Done everybody? Yes, sir. So just create a class name 
let's take magic. Okay. Now, def so then self print today there is a magic show then class name it will be let's what will be there okay mehul let's check Let's see is there also. X Kumar. So I am creating these classes now. Which class I am creating the object? Kumar. Okay, so we create the object for Kumar. K one is equal to. Kumar. Now, K1 dot duty. One done. Again. S1 is equal to two three. Then S1 dot work 
डन एगेन वट इज मेहुल ओके एम वन इज इक्वल टू मेहुल then m1 dot study study okay run done so here first of all in hierarchical inheritance all the child class is inheriting the property from a single parent class so we need to create different object for all the child classes okay but these child classes creating the object let's check uh, m1 dot study is there then you can also say m1 dot so okay it will show you the output let's okay m1 portion is done M1 portion is done. I am deleting it. Then if you S1 dot so it will also give you the output. S1 portion is done. I am deleting it. If you done also K1 dot so it will also show us the output. Okay, I'm just spacing K1 done, then Susri S1 is Understand everybody? What is the hierarchical inheritance do? Here, only one parent class is there. Here, only one parent class. That's it. That is magic. So now there are three different child class. One is Mehul, one is Susri. One is Kumar. All the three child class have their separate object. But they also provide the inheriting property from magic class. From magic class. So they all show the inheriting property from the magic class they also their own object and they also their own function call they also their output but they also have the property for inheriting from the parent class three different child class inheriting the property from same parent class this is called hierarchical inheritance understand everybody yes sir, yes, sir. Okay. So the final inheritance, the final inheritance, that is hybrid inheritance. So please tell me what is the hybrid inheritance? The combination of two different types of inheritance or we can say that more than two or more. Yes, more than uh, two or more. Actually, in the multi-level, single level and higher level. Sorry, sequentially single level, multi-level and then hierarchical. 
these three combination specially we show in the hybrid inheritance one inheritance is absolutely correct that is single level then the two step inheritance child class inheriting the property from parent class in terms of that parent class inheriting the property from another super class and then there is hierarchical property that is one child class sorry that is two or more child class inheriting the property from the same parent class so these three combination actually mostly we see in the hybrid inheritance it means hybrid any types of inheritance we see there okay so specially we give the example using single level multi level and hierarchical so what is the structure let's check this is a parent class okay and this is a child class this is a another child class this is a another child class so from parent class to c1 child class this is single level inheritance from c1 child class to c3 child class it is also another single level inheritance from parent class to c1 c child class then c1 c child class to c3 c child class this is called multi level inheritance from parent child for parent class to c2 class this is another single level inheritance from parent class to both c1 child class to again c2 child class this is called hierarchical inheritance sorry ha yeah, this is called hierarchical inheritance please listen very carefully because there is something uh, not understand everybody that what is going on single level then single level then multi level then hierarchical because it is called the hybrid inheritance so actually this is the main topic of or you can say the main structure of hybrid inheritance parent class then uh, one child class single level then that child class to another child class single level parent class to ch child class then also the co combination of again at one child class it is called multi level here also parent class to another child class single level inheritance two child class inheriting the property from one parent class it is called the hierarchical inheritance understand now the definition the combination of single level inheritance comma multi level inheritance remind not multiple it is multi level inheritance okay i am doing it in multi level single level inheritance multi level inheritance and hierarchical inheritance you can also do it multiple inheritance but here the example is single level inheritance multi level inheritance and hierarchical inheritance it is called hybrid inheritance it is called hybrid inheritance wait a minute
हेलो हेलो यस यस सर सर Yes, tell me. Anyone have a doubt? No, sir. Okay, sorry, un I will mute it. Okay, so that is def. First of all, creating class A, then def parent class print. Sorry, def parent function and then print. Then again, class B using the A def partner self then print. Then again, creating a class for the multi-level inheritance B. Then def. Uh, it will be late. Um, ground okay self then print we will go to the ground for playing done so now c1 is equal to capital c then c1 dot ground So then obviously C1 dot partner run Suresh is my gaming partner. Then again C1 dot parents.
run. So this is this is the single level, and then from this the whole is multi-level. Done. Now the hierarchical portion. first of all creating a class named a function name parent printing the message i love my parents then that is the single level inheritance creating another class b inheriting the property from a creating the function partner, printing the message, Suresh is my gaming partner. Then creating again a child class called single level inheritance from B to C, class name C, property for inheriting the property, B, function name ground, printing the message, we will go to the ground for playing. Done. Now creating a class called D for inheriting the property from a creating a function school print school remain opens in a rainy day here when we create for this just check this for this c class creating an object c1 c1 dot ground it shows the message we will go to the ground for playing. Now, see, we will go to the ground for playing. This is the message. Now, c1.partner. Why we do c1.partner? Because c class is inheriting the property from the b class. As c class is the child class of the class b. So, c1.partner 
it will show Suresh is my gaming partner. Done. Now again, C1 dot parent. Why C1 dot parent? Because C1 inheriting the property from the parent class B, that is also inheriting the property from the class A. So just click on C1 dot parent. It will show us the output. I love my parents. I love my parents. Done. Now D and then D class that is inheriting the property from the class A. We just create an object D1 dot D is equal to D. D for D class object. Then D1 dot school for the own messages printing. School remains open in a rainy day. School remains open in a rainy day. Then D1 dot parent. Why D1 dot parent? Because D class inheriting the property from the class A. So D1 dot parent function name. It will show us I love my parents. Now B1 is equal to B. We create a object, separate object for the class B. And then B1 dot partner. That is the own function name in B class. Suresh is my gaming partner. Print done. Then B1 dot parent. Why? Because B1 is also inheriting the property from class A. So B1 dot parent. It will show us the I love my parents. So here. This is the single level inheritance. This is the single level inheritance from this. Then this. This is the multi level inheritance. Then from this to this and from this to this called hierarchical inheritance and the whole is called hybrid inheritance. Understand everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. the hybrid inheritance done and all the inheritance done for today. This is the last topic for today and in the next day we will just there are some uh, to uh, little bit that is uh, program to call the constructor that is init methods of all the classes. Why can we uh, call the constructor instead of super class? So that is the minimalistic topic for the rare cases that is happening. We'll see. So this is the end of basics of inheritance the first step of object orient programming language of python first step little bit first step that is inheritance everybody clear with five types of inheritance or anything yes, anybody have query please no, respond sir. everyone who is the new one also sandeep susri mehul kumar Gayatri, Ayon, Anjali, please respond. Alka. All, all is clear, sir. Okay, okay. So, uh, clear, sir. Clear, sir. Okay. Clear, so, sir. wait, I'm giving you the attendance seat. Wait, wait a minute. Okay, uh, the one thing I forgot because I am giving you some query. When if else statement and uh, while loop for loop is there, anybody complete it? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. In the next class, I will discuss with the query. I am forgot to send you the link, uh, the question also. Okay. Again, I am sending it. Uh, next class, I will uh, check the query. Okay. So just wait. I am giving you the attendance seat.